Readings from Ghost, Ghouls, and Other Horrors, Episode 8, Little Sister. A former United States Naval officer was twice saved from death by the ghost of his younger sister, who had died when they were both children. The first incident took place in Russia during the Revolution, and he described what happened, saying, I was ashore with one of my machine gun crews guarding American civilian property in the city of Vladivostok. The streets are narrow and run generally in the valleys between the flanking hills. There were five minor rebellions or revolutions in Siberia following the White Red Revolution, which caused the overthrow of the Tsarist government. It was during one of the Japanese-sponsored revolts called the Gaeta Rebellion that the incident occurred. The Reds, who were in power, were shooting at the rebel troops led by General Gaeta from behind houses, down streets, and across valleys from hilltop to hilltop. As on several other occasions, when I have been in great physical, mental, moral, or financial danger, the spirit of my sister appeared. It was evening, and the illumination from the moon and stars was not very great. My sister appeared and I pointed down at my feet. Without thinking, I bent over to see what she pointed at, only to find a useless small splinter of wood. But in that, in that instant, a shell passed over exactly where my head and shoulders would have been, directly behind the gun. The entire crew was killed by that shell. A similar incident occurred at Vladivostok the following winter while we were loading coal. I was standing next to my bosun's mate, who was giving signals to the hoistman to haul up the coal sacks from the lighter to be then loaded on, dock, on deck into the well chutes. I was supervising several other groups of my crew, walking from one coaling boom to the other. When I arrived at the number one boom, I stood about one foot behind and to the right of my bosun's mate. My sister appeared again, as she had on previous occasions, and pointed down to the deck, and I stooped over to pick up a burned match. The only thing I saw, just as I stooped over, the coal bag with about one ton of coal caught on the barge edge. The strain on the cable leading to the steam winch exerted such an excessive pressure on the 10-inch coal boom that it broke in the middle. The lower half, swinging like a scythe and at lightning speed, swung half round, just missing my head and crushing the bosun's mate to a pulp. Thank you.